Well, they were one of the coolest sites of the NFL draft in downtown Detroit, right? Weren't yeah. they so awesome? They were pretty cool. 20 yeah. large football cleat sculptures painted by Detroit artists. Yeah, so now the cleats are headed to their permanent homes. As Jacqueline Francis shows us how the project is giving back to the community. Take a close look at these cleats. They really are works of art. So it makes sense that they went for a high price, benefiting local charities. Fresh off the auction block, these cleats are a memento of the NFL draft in Detroit. We know that the draft is mostly about football fans, but we wanted to add a little bit to it being here in the state of Detroit, and we wanted our artists to be part of that. The decleated project selected 20 local artists to each partner with a nonprofit in creating a cleat. They were then displayed downtown and at the airport during the draft. All of them are beautiful within their own right. They all have a special uh, treat or, you know, Easter eggs for you to find and different things. The artists lived up to the assignment. I integrated small elements. So right here, like, I have this black cancer cross right there, and then as well as the mouth here. And the line just kind of represents the fury that people battling cancer have. So all together, it just... A piece like you would, you would think it was for the lions, but it was actually to represent people battling cancer. Each mural reflecting its cause. This piece is about repeated motions, changing a landscape, and 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 creating something new, like just repeated motions carving away. And I feel like the Blightbusters embody that because they do just every day lots of little things to help help transform my neighborhood. After the draft, the cleats went up for auction with all the proceeds going to the nonprofit it represented. I love it, I love it, I love it. The starting bid was just over $2,500 per cleat and everyone sold. We had a goal of about 55000 We raised over 80000 On Saturday, the winners, mostly individuals and some businesses, were announced. And on Monday, they'll be ready for pickup. We want to kiss them goodbye and they're going to go live with their owners permanently. The organizers behind the project plan to post where each of the cleats is headed next. Some may still be in public view. Reporting in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4.